Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator and creating a starburst design using the Polar Grid tool. Something like that. But what you can do, first thing to do is go over to the Polar Grid tool, double click on that, and what you can set, concentric, set that to zero. Low zero, and set the number, something like 20 or 30, doesn't matter, you can set it, say 30, go for 30. Click OK. Now at the moment, it hasn't created it. I'll create it in a sec. What I want to do is just quickly show, I've got stroke here, five points, and it's black. Now you can set it obviously to red, green, whatever you want. But I'm just gonna now add my very basic design. That's the Starburst initial point created using the polar grid. That's using this tool. I say you can always change this in multiple ways, but it's not live, so you can't sort of double click that and then change it, say, to 50, because it won't change. You have to create another one. So, once you've done that, what you do, go to Object, and you can Ungroup, and you can remove this. That's it, simple as that. So you've got your Starburst design, very quick and easy. Now, of course, you can create a little more than that, because the thing is, it's a stroke, and what you can do, you can go over here to Stroke, and you can maybe set it to something like that. Or and this is using properties. That's window and properties. And what you can also do is click there on stroke and you've got an option here for profiles. So you can go down here and you can select maybe a different profile. So you can create a whole range of different starburst designs using this approach. Designs like that. And of course you can create your own width profiles as well. And you can still also, just go over here to the width tool and you can modify these. Unfortunately, it would have to be obviously in, individual, which would not be so good. So you can double click on that and then just go to the width tool and you can just see the various points and you can just tweak those. But it would mean you have to go through every single one of those if you want to do it by this. However, what you can do, of course, is now with the wonderful new repeat feature, you could maybe just use this one. I'm just gonna select that, and I can get rid of all those. And then, what I can do, <coughs> sorry, I can go to object, and I can go to repeat, and then go to radial. And you can see the design there. And you can create all kinds of different starburst designs, which you can double click again, and you can modify that design there. So you can use it as a great start point to burst out like that. And you can still, of course, modify the width profile as well. So let's just go back now, all the way back to the initial point. So you've got over here, go to the polar grid, create your star design, and I'm just gonna set it. Now, if you want to, you can make it a dash design. Of course, I've got this back again, so now what I have to need to do is go to object and ungroup. Just remove that. Sadly, it's not a feature of the application, but you can just move that where you can just double click there. There's no option for removing that circle that's around it. Would be nice if they added that, but you can't. So, also what you of course can do, because they're just lines here, you can ungroup, ungroup the whole thing, and you can remove individuals. So you don't have to have the starburst, of course, complete like that. Do that, but also you can also go to the individual ones, maybe go and select there, stroke, just do that. You can go maybe to another one, click there, stroke. Now, unfortunately, there's no sort of like randomize the color feature, It'd be really nice if there was. You can just go around each of them and add it in your different colors there. And also, of course, you can always change the size so you don't have to have them all consistent. And also you've got stroke, you can also add dashed lines as well. So you could create a starburst. Now I'm just going to go back now. Let's just go all the way back to this design. And with that selected, what you can do, click stroke, and you can go down to dash lines. And you can create, obviously, a, a dotted, dotted starburst design, very quick and easy. Now, one thing you suggest what I need to do, you've got this design here. If you want to use it, as solid object, what you'll need to do is go to object and expand. 
and then just go obviously for fill and then you've got a solid object which is great because what you can then do is you can go to a window and you go to Pathfinder there's Pathfinder there and you can go just down to here to unite so you unite it all into a single one and then if you want you can always go over here to ellipse tool say and just create that select both now if you want to align it just go over to the align so that's in properties just go there align those segment there and then you can if you want just remove the center minus front so you can create starburst that's not without anything and of course what you can also do you can always hold down the alter option key and you can duplicate the design so you can always then create another one inside like that so a variety of different again use the alignment and you've got that and of course you don't have to keep them the same color you can always go to fill and change it to red or whatever so you can see you can create different color designs that way so that's all from this polar grid tool and again at any point you can always change it so if you don't want polar grid of 30 and you want it say at 70 you can set it to 70 and create your design there and you can see you've obviously got a lot more lines there to work with so that's it how to create a starburst design using the polar grid tool in illustrator i'm using 221 but the same approach can be used in 2020 to 2019 etc except for the repeat feature which is a new feature of illustrator 221. i hope you found this tutorial of interest always adding new tutorials all the time so please subscribe to the graphic extras channel also always adding one for photoshop illustrator affinity photo and many others and any comments please add some comments always appreciated just sort of anything i did wrong did right let me know and also a dislike or like thank you much